Yeah, this was the first one. What drew me to writing about Kwanzaa is because my job as an author is to explain kind of complex subjects to children. It was a way to show thanks and appreciation for the blessings that you have, for the family that you have, to teach the history of black culture, and to also find a way to support black businesses and to bring a more positive outlook for the coming year. My last book was The Seven Spools of Thread. It's a way to explain Kwanzaa as a unifying community experience rather than something that just you know, goes for black people. It's meant to be able to teach people about black and African culture. And that's the bottom line of it. To have a community celebration that anybody can join in on. Opportunities like Kwanzaa give you a chance to understand somebody's history and culture, where you came from, you know, what you ate, what you believed in. And you'll find it's not too much different than what you eat, what you do with your family, what you believe in. But it just takes a little research and a little education and the world would be a better place if people just took a little time to sort of say you know hey I'd like to join in and that's the story they learn how to work together they they help their community they're able to create a business